Hello everyone. So I got iPhone SE here. It came in from other store as usual. They said the phone is draining battery really quickly, and the same story as in my previous video, which I did on iPhone success. So they said it is draining battery really quickly. So they said we have tried another battery as well, and the uh, same result. So they sent it to me, and then I, I they sent me open phone basically. So as you can see, battery has been replaced already. This is a brand new battery. So I'm gonna see what's wrong with this phone. As I always said, sure that uh, battery drain issue can cause because of two reasons. First is short circuit or partial short circuit. The second one is the tri-star. So now I'm going to try the tri-star. Oh sorry, I'm going to test if that is a short circuit or there is a tri-star failure. As I explained in my success video, if once we are going to connect this uh, DC power supply cable in, and then if we have any amp draw over here, that's mean there is a short circuit. So currently as you can see it's not drawing any amp so that's been there's a no short on standby oh sorry no short before prompted to boot so now i'm gonna prompt to boot and i'm gonna see if that boots up normally or it will jump the amp the current draw is gonna jump on my dc power supply if my current draw my current draw is gonna jump on my dc power supply like 0 to 180 200 milliamp or something like that so that's when my tristar is bad if that is gonna boot normal then I have to look for the partial shot so that's mean then I have a partial shot so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hit the power button as you can see it straight away jumped to 160 something let me try again 120 200 and this jumping as I always said normal boot order is like it is gonna go to her 0 0.4 0 0.7 0 0.10 and then so on like that but in this case you see it is jumping straight to 120 0 like and then 180 200 and something let me show you again it is gonna jump yeah. power it went to 0 0.19 so that's been 190 then 0 0.21 that means 210 milliamp and then so on so that is a tristar failure that's what that's how we recognize that if that is a tristar problem or if there is a, any other problem with the phone what i'm gonna do i'm gonna replace the tristar and fix this problem this is the quickest method you can use in order to identify battery drain issues in any iPhone so these are the things that we learn from experience because when we are doing couple of repairs over the time and then if we are going to observe the behavior of the phone with the same problem then obviously we can find out the issue quickly and it saves us the time so because if i'm not gonna test on my dc power supply and i'm gonna straight away jump into the uh, tristar and I'm gonna replace the tristar and the problem is not tristar so that's mean I'm gonna waste my tristar time which I'm going to spend on the tristar and my problem is gonna be still there so that is not gonna resolve the issue because if there is a short circuit tristar replaces uh, tristar replacement is not gonna resolve the issue so what I need to figure out if that is a really tristar problem or there is something else problem like some part short or there is a part problem or there is some partial short in any other line 
so there are things we if we are gonna learn from experience and quick way so it is gonna save us a lot of time and hurdle so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove this shield again this phone charges fine I did ask the customer if they have a problem with the charging they said now it charges fine there's nothing wrong with the charging so that's what I that's what I then uh, after that I tested my basic power supply so if that shows us the same behavior then TriStar fails in battery drain phone and it show exactly same okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use preheater for this one because this is next to NAND and there is a Tigress next to it which is underfill so I just don't wanna overheat it so I'm gonna use the preheater again at 120 I'm gonna preheat it let us go that's our dry star ok so I need to make space for my cutter I think I should be ok with this one I'm gonna put heat sink on my land partially a man and this tigress so I don't want to overheat it so I'm gonna avoid replacing tigress because that is overfill underfill so I'm gonna remove this glue this glue is soft uh, like a uh, iPhone um, 6 so you should be able to remove it really quickly on the side this is little bit little bit hard glue that epoxy so I'm gonna clean from this side as well I love my exacto blade this is this number 11 that makes your work really really easy so I'm gonna go back to my soldering temperature I'm gonna remove the IC from the board oh sorry guys my microscope light was loose so it fell off I'll put it again That's it. I'm gonna start heating up this try star to put my heat sink on the tigress and partially on land. Just gonna knock off this IC. Same way the iPhone 6, which we always knock off. So I'm gonna wait solder to get melt. And that's it I'm gonna clean off the pads this glue uh, this uh, black stuff uh, epoxy is little bit hard little bit is not really really hard like PMIC one is a little bit hard as compared to iPhone 6 
I'm just cleaning off sides little bit so my IC will settle down easily. I don't need to make it super clean. I just clean enough to settle IC quickly. That should be okay. I'm gonna grab my IC. I'm gonna solder it. I'm gonna turn on my preheater again. I turned off my preheater as soon as I removed the IC from the PCB. So I'm gonna turn on my preheater. I already turned on my preheater. I'm just gonna put my new IC over there. I'm gonna blow it with the hot air. Little bit flux. and anti-grass I'm gonna solder it That's it. Turn off the preheater. It's still hot. Wait for a few minutes. on the DC power supply again. It should have normal current at all now because before it was abnormal it was jumping straight to 120 or 180 so now it should behave normally. Yeah, this is our cable. the power button and you see it's booting up normally it didn't jump anything let me show you again power button 0 0.7 10 13 and then so on that's what is normal boot amp draw so before it was jumping from 0 to 120 and or sometime 180 so now it is booting up properly so let's see if the phone charges as well let me connect my battery because the 
we replaced the charging IC so we should test the charging feature as well. Yep. We have charging symbol. Let me show you my DC data amp meter. That is 0 0.87. So that means this phone is charging fine even though. So that was our problem. So that's how you can identify quickly if that is a tri-star related or anything else. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. I will see you next time with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.